everyone and welcome to my channel Simply Daisy. So I've previously gotten a lot of questions about how to make the starburst granny square bigger or how to make it larger. So today I'm going to be showing you two different ways that you can do that. Also I recently got an Instagram and a Twitter. So on the Twitter I would like to do a bunch of Twitter polls so that you can pick the content on my channel that you want to see. So I'll put my username here and also in the description box. So anyways let's get started. You will need your choice of yarn. I'll be using all of these colors today and this is the order that I'll be using them from front to back. You will also need a sewing needle, a crochet hook, I'll be using a 5mm hook, and scissors. So today I'm going to be showing you two different ways to make the Starburst Granny Square larger. But before we get started, I just wanted to show you all three squares side by side so that you can evaluate them and see which one that you want to make. So first, on the left, we have the original Starburst Granny Square. And if you don't know how to make it, you can check out my video, which will give you more information about it. And that is also about 5x5 five five inches. Then the second one is the exact same thing, it just has this additional white border, and so you can do as many white borders as you like, I just did one, and so with one border it's about 6 inches by 6 inches. And we have the large starburst granny square, which has this shell stitch in between, and you can see that in blue, and that is about a little under 6.5 by 6.5 inches. Before we jump into the starburst granny square, I just wanted to give you an overview of all of the rounds. So the first round is entirely double crochet, then the second round is puff stitches which look really cool, they're probably one of my favorite stitches, and then the third round is shell stitches, the fourth is the cluster stitch, and the fifth is the round in white which will help make it into a square. To start off the first round you're going to take your color and make a slip knot. Then you're going to insert your crochet hook, pull, and then chain five. Then you're going to slip stitch into the first chain, then chain three, and do 15 double crochet into the center of that loop. So you're going to have a total of 16 stitches, with the chain three counting as one of those double crochet. This first round as well as the second round are exactly the same as the Starburst Granny Square, and I'm going to be going over these fairly quickly, but if you'd like a more in-depth description and details about how to do these rounds, then you can check out the Starburst Granny Square video for more information. After you're crocheting those 16 stitches, please make sure to double check the number of stitches. If you don't have the correct number, 15 double crochet and 1 chain 3, then the whole thing will be set off. When you're certain you have the correct number of stitches, then slip stitch into the third chain of the chain three, chain one, pull, cut with your scissors, and tighten. For the second round, insert your crochet hook into any of the stitches, then wrap your new color around your hook, pull, and make a knot. Then you're going to start the puff stitch. So to do that, insert your crochet hook into that space, yarn over and come out, chain three, then yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, and pull. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, and pull. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, and pull. Then yarn over and pull through, and chain one. Repeat this into each of the double crochet stitches and into the top of the chain three. For the first puff stitch, we did a chain three, then inserted into the stitch three times. And then for a normal puff stitch, we will insert into the stitch three times with no chain three. The chain three was just to start it off. Also, at the end, you should have a total of 16 puff stitches. When you're certain that you have the correct number of stitches, slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch, chain one, pull, and then cut with your scissors. For the third round, which is the shell stitch round, we're going to insert our crochet hook in between any two of the puff stitches. It doesn't matter where, just between any two. Then you wrap the yarn around your hook, and pull through, then make a knot so it's nice and secure. So the first thing we're going to do for the shell stitch is a single crochet. So normally we would insert into the hole, yarn over and come out to get the loop back on our hook, but if we want to do that we'd have to go in and then yarn over again and that's pretty awkward. So instead we're going to yarn over before we insert, then insert, yarn over and come out so we get two loops on our hook then yarn over and pull through for that slip stitch. Then we're going to continue and do five double crochet into the next hole. So we just did one single crochet here, and we're going to do five double crochet into this space. So we're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, so we have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. 
So there is one. We have two. Three. Four. And five. And then afterward, it's always good to count and make sure that you have all of the correct stitches that you're supposed to have. So now that we have the single crochet, then five double crochet, we're going to do one single crochet into the next space. So you insert, yarn over, come out, so you have two loops, yarn over, and pull through. And that's it, that's one of our shell stitches. So there's going to be a total of eight shell stitches, and we will continue. So we just did our single crochet, and we'll do five double crochet into the next space. Now that we have five, we're going to do the single crochet into the next space. So insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. So now I have two shell stitches, just continue in the same pattern. So we have a single crochet, five double crochet, single crochet, five double crochet, single crochet, and just continue until you have eight shell stitches total. Then once you have the five double crochet for the last shell stitch, you're going to slip stitch into the single crochet that we did back at the beginning. So you're just going to insert, yarn over, come out, and pull through. Then you're going to chain one, pull, and cut with your scissors. Then pull tight so it's nice and secure. After we've completed the third round, we're going to start the cluster stitch round, which is the fourth one. So we're going to insert our crochet hook into the third double crochet of any of the shell stitches. So we're going to count one, two, three, then insert underneath of the V. Then we're going to take our next color and wrap it around the hook. Then pull through and then make a knot. Then we're going to insert, yarn over, and come out. Now we're going to start a cluster stitch. So to do that, we're going to chain three. Then we're going to yarn over, insert into the hole, yarn over, come out. So we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through two. So if this were a normal double crochet, we would yarn over and pull through these last two. But we're going to keep going. So we're going to yarn over, insert into that third double crochet, yarn over, and come out. Then yarn over and pull through only the first two loops. Now we have three loops, then we're going to do it again. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out. So we have five loops, then yarn over and pull through only the first two loops. So now we have four loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. So for this first one you're doing a chain three, then you're doing a three incomplete double crochets basically. Then you're going to chain three. Then you're going to do one more cluster stitch, but it's going to be like a triple crochet instead of like a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over twice, then insert into the single crochet. So right underneath of that V, yarn over, come out. So you should have four loops, then you yarn over, pull through only the first two, yarn over, pull through the first two. So you should have two loops. So this is one incomplete triple crochet. Yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, come out. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So we have two incomplete triple crochets. Then we're going to do one more. So yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now we have three incomplete triple crochets and four loops. So you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops and then chain three. Then we're going to continue and do a cluster stitch like the double crochet. So you count one, two, three, insert into that third double crochet. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over, insert, 
yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. So we have three, yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. So now we will have five loops on our hook. We will yarn over and pull through all five. Then we will chain three. So for the first one, this chain three counted as one of our incomplete double crochets. So we're gonna do four incompletes in this cluster stitch. Then we're gonna do three incomplete triple crochets so that they're approximately the same width. If we did four, it would be a lot wider. Then we do a chain three in between all of those. So we're going to continue and do another triple crochet, the cluster stitch. So yarn over twice, insert underneath the V of the single crochet, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Then, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and chain three. So you're just going to continue this all the way around. So the reason why we're also doing the triple crochet is that because the shell is uneven, we have to do double crochet and then triple crochet here to make up for it so that they are approximately the same height and three and then four for the same width. So just continue. Next we do one cluster stitch of double crochet, then a cluster stitch of triple, double crochet, triple crochet, and just continue until you've completed all of the cluster stitches. Then when you're done with the last triple crochet cluster stitch, you're going to chain three, and then slip stitch into the third chain of the chain three that we did to start the original cluster stitch. Then chain one, pull, and cut with your scissors. Then pull so it is secure. For the last round, take your circle and you're going to insert your crochet hook into any of the gaps between the cluster stitches. Wrap your yarn around the hook, pull through, and make a knot. And then this round is similar to the Starburst Granny Square one, except you are chaining in between. So you're going to insert, yarn over, come out, and you're going to do a chain four. Then you're going to do two triple crochet into the same hole. Yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, come out, so you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to chain one. For the other Starburst Granny Square, you don't chain one in between. But for this one, you chain one, then you're going to do a double crochet. So three double crochet into that hole. Then chain one, and then a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, so you have three loops, then yarn over and pull through all three. So you're gonna do three of those all into that same space. As you can see, they're getting smaller as we go across to make a straight line, and then now when we keep going, they're gonna get larger. So we did triple, double crochet, half double crochet. Now we're going to chain one, and then do three double crochet and then three triple crochet. After three triple crochet, you're going to chain three for the corner, then do three more triple crochet into the same hole. Then you're going to repeat the same thing. So you're going to chain one, three double crochet, chain one, three half double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, three triple crochet, chain three, and three triple crochet. So just repeat this until you get all the way back around. When you get back to the original corner, chain one, and do three double crochet into the hole. Then you're going to chain three, and slip stitch into the fourth chain of the chain four that was at the beginning. Chain one, pull, and cut with your scissors. Then pull, and now I'm going to weave in the ends. Okay. Next is the simplest way to make it larger. You add an additional border. So to do that, we're going to do exactly what we do for a granny square. 
So you're going to insert into the corner, it can be any corner you like, and then wrap the yarn around your hook, pull through, and then make a knot. Then insert, yarn over, come out, and then we're going to chain three. So if you don't know how to make a granny square, you can check out my video, but I'll just go over some of the basics with you. So we do a chain three, then we do two double crochet into the same hole. And then the only thing different from a normal granny square would be that we are not going to do the chain in between the sets of double crochet because it's already really squished together and if we do that extra chain, it might prevent it from laying flat. So we have chain three, two double crochet, then no chain and do three double crochet into the next space. Then you're just going to repeat this, doing three double crochet, then three double crochet into each of the holes. And then when you get to the corners, you're going to do three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. So you can just repeat that until you get back to the original corner. Then when you get to the corner, you do the three double crochet, chain three, and then slip stitch into the original chain three. Then from here, if you want, you can make another round if you'd like to make it even larger, but I'm just going to chain one, pull, and then come with my scissors to end it after one round. Then you can weave in all your ends. Here are the final products of the larger Starburst Granny Squares we made today. So on the right is the large Starburst Granny Square, which has the additional shell stitch in the middle, and on the left is the original but with the extra border. So these would be great for a blanket or a scarf or really any project that you want. But if you don't know how to join the Starburst Granny Squares together, I had just made a video about it, so you can check that out and I think it would really help you. Also, if you make any of these Starburst Granny Squares or any projects with it, please tag me in a picture of it on Instagram or tag me in it on Twitter. I just made a Twitter and I will put my username on this page and also on the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.